Would you like to create your future yourself or would you like others to create it for you? If you want to create it yourself, then you need to recognize your own potential because then only it will be possible for you to achieve what you want to. I am Heman Singh of Sahib Fine Foods from Ahmedabad into supplying of food and beverage products to hotels, restaurants, cafes and caterers around the city. During lockdown, two of my very good friends, Mr. Kirat Patel ji and Mr. Sohan Manikot invited me for Unnati's online session of turning crisis into opportunities during which I was introduced to the EPAD program. Before joining EPAD, my major concerns were First, how to sustain the consistency of growth in my business and the other was how to implement systems and bring my business on auto mode in which I will be working for it instead of working in it. EPAD has been an exciting journey of discoveries for me. I would like to share an experience that how a learning from my EPAD course helped me take a major decision for the betterment of my company. Since October 2019, a senior employee of the company had become non-performer. He had lost interest in his job title. I did sit down with him and we discussed about it, but we could not come to a decision. After joining EFAD and getting a chance to interact with Sham sir, I realized that I had made choice C, that is of casual or chalta hai approach towards this situation. I also realized that very soon I will be making choice B that is of blaming if things don't go around well in the company. I immediately made choice A, that is taking the responsibility and called up this gentleman telling him that he is being exited from the company with immediate effect. This actually sent out a clear message to the other employees in the company that those who are not good for the health of the company and its growth are not welcomed. The concepts which appeal to me the most in EPAN are I can, I will and making choice A that is taking responsibilities. I can, I will gives me immense boost to start my day and keep my spirits high throughout the day. I have started to keep a positive approach toward things and circumstances. Nowadays, I least use the words like no, cannot, can't do and impossible. I am trying to change my attitude from I can't, I cannot to I can, I will. I am also making choice A, taking the responsibility for where I am today and how and where I will be tomorrow. I can, I will.